Hi, have you ever thought of printing Hello World using this much lines of code? Yes, actually this is an interview question. So stay tuned in this video to understand how this has to be done. What are the constant? What was the actual question? So Hello World printing can also be difficult. Hi, so let's start a new session. So here I will be teaching you the basics of C coding. Okay, and it is for basically for the freshers and beginners and also experience can also see it. But uh, there I will also be showing you some good techniques from coding techniques and also the questions that are asked in uh, some of the interviews. So we will be mainly focused on the interview patterns and the questions. And during that, whatever logic or the concepts you need to have that I will go on explaining. Okay, so let's start today's video. So here the question is asked in one of the recruited company interview question to have a to print hello world print hello world without uh, okay i will say with using concepts of pointers and uh, pointers and dereferencing then pointer increment okay so the main point is that uh, here what we are doing is we are using uh, so let's start from the beginning so this is our main task to print hello world uh, and uh, demonstrate the pointer concept dereferencing and pointer increment okay so first thing is uh, if you don't know about pointers just stick to it i will let you understand what pointer is so here we are saying that we are including something so what is std io it is std means standard io means input output so this is mainly the standard input output for library that contains the definition of printf and scanf and it is input output so what you want to give as an input to the code and what you want to get from the code that it will help this library contains the definition of printf scanf and all these things so we are including this library into it okay so now the main question was there are two character uh, pointers uh, a uh, with the value as uh, hello and uh, character pointer b with the value of world and finally a character pointer c with the value of error okay so the main task is we need to print hello world but we don't want to print the error part so this error shows that it is somewhere in the memory which it can it is not able to access okay so that is our main concept so what we will be doing is we don't need this uh, printf now okay so here so now let's understand first what can be done to print only hello world so let's say that uh, we want to print hello world but if i say simply as let's say uh, printf printf and simply say let's print a so if we print a we can print hello but we cannot print uh, world because we are we can only use a to access each and everything so we cannot use b and c okay that's the main part we cannot use other pointers we can only use only one pointer so what we can do we can use this pointer to go to b but how by incrementing so now let's try that part so while so as soon now let's first understand how the hello is present inside the memory okay so when you actually see the memory where this hello is stored it will be stored in this way h-e-l-l-o and then there will be a null character similarly this one will be w-o-r-l-d and a null character and the error is e-r-r-o-r and a null character so every string is having a null character at its end so that is why whenever we want to print a string it is getting ended whenever it encounters a null character so here when we write a while loop we cannot just check the null character so what is what we can check is that we want to terminate when we encounter the null character the second time okay so we can say that we need a counter to count the number of null character so let's say null count so initially none count is zero and when we want to terminate the loop we want to terminate the loop whenever the null counter 
is equals to zero so just copy it paste it and we say when the null character is um, equals to two we want to terminate till it is not equals to two we keep on uh, accessing whatever is there so what we want to do we want to start from hello and we want to go at the end up to d okay so for that the best thing is we can say a plus plus is will be done that a will be incremented every time and so that we can go so now when a is incremented we also get this null so there will be a condition when a is equals to null when the value of a is equals equals to the null character okay so when we encounter a null character what we want to do we want to print a space because see what we want to print we want to print h e l l o hello space w o r l d world so here there was a null character instead of null character we want to print the space so here just write printf so we want to print the character that is sorry that is space okay then what we want to do we want to increment the null counter so once we have encountered the null so we will increment the null counter okay and in the else part it is simple that whatever uh, we are receiving in whatever is the value of a that we will be printing so the value of a is uh, like incremented one by one so we will be printing the a uh, okay and whatever is the value in the a so here we are terminating the print after the second null character so using the null character we can control till how much we want to print so let's run it okay it is giving some error uh, why it is not equals to two okay so we want to give we forgot to give this one so now let's run it okay so now it is printing hello world okay so i hope you understand it so if i just increase it to three okay and run it so you print error also now you guys can expect that if i put it four then what will happen if if i want to go beyond that so let's try and see what it comes so it, it terminate because i think after that we have all null characters only so it doesn't matter after the first null character it also prints some space and then do it okay so that's the whole concept here so basically what is there in the memory map is something like this so it will be he uh, so it will be like he hello hello then a null character then world then a null character and then error and a null character so in c there is no boundation the boundary of a string is decided by the null character so i can access up to from h to r you know, from everything in this character starting from the w h from this initial the first location so here we clarify the concept of pointers so pointers are the pointers are the variables that point to a specific memory location so now this star a is the in this way we are defining a pointer so a is um, pointing towards the address of h okay and when we move the address one by one here what we are doing we are incrementing the address of a then it is pointing to e then it is pointing to l then again l and o in this way and here when we want to print what is the value of a then we say star a star a means the value at the location a so that is here we are saying that dereferencing the pointer using star of a so we clarified the idea of dereferencing pointer increment and one more thing that in c the arrays are not bounded so even though we are having a fixed length for hello we assigned it to a but we can go all the way up to error so there is no foundation for the array so you we only need the starting address so that's all for today i hope you understand the concept i will come with the next concept in next video thank you